with the development of robust third-generation FMB needles. Most centres do not rely on rapid on-site assessment, also known as ROSE, for establishing a tissue diagnosis, and the diagnosis is generally attained off-site as cell block. However, despite reports of outstanding performance in some instances, US-guided final biopsy can be indeterminate as cell block. This Florida Life teaching video outlines an often overlooked, poorly described, but very important reason for this suboptimal performance and provides tips for overcoming this limitation. This 66-year-old patient presented with obstructive jaundice and a dilated bile duct on CT of the abdomen. However, no mass was visualized. At EUS, a 13 by 12 mm hypoechoic mass was visualized from the duodenal bulb, obstructing the distal bile duct. The mass was sampled using a 22 gauge Francine tip FNB needle from the duodenal bulb, with the echoendoscope in the expected long scope position. Rapid on site evaluation revealed mild atypia on pass 1. The outcomes were no different at pass 2. The echoendoscope was then advanced to the distal duodenum and on withdrawal, the pancreatic mass was visualized in the incident process of the pancreas, obstructing the main pancreatic duct. The mass was better defined and in closer proximity to the echoendoscope as seen using artificial intelligence. With the echoendoscope in the short position, the mass was sampled and rapid on-site evaluation revealed a large population of well-differentiated malignant appearing cells consistent with adenocarcinoma. An important technical tip is that while the pancreatic incident mass can be sampled more easily from the duodenal bulb, because the echoendoscope position is more stable, the image definition can be suboptimal, particularly when the mass is less than 20 mm in size. Also, as the mass is oftentimes further away from the EUS transducer, the FMB needle inadvertently targets reactive pseudo areas and not the real tumor. On the other hand, when the incident mass is imaged from the second portion of the duodenum at the duodenoscope withdrawal, the mass is more accurately visualized and is closer to the EUS transducer. While the scope position may be unstable, the FNB specimen, as shown in this video, is more cellular and diagnostic. The instability of the scope can be overcome by having an assistant brace the echoendoscope at the mouth of the patient to prevent recoil effect during the FNB maneuver. In the second case, a 61-year-old patient presented with jaundice and a 22mm hypoechoic mass that was seen from the duodenal bulb, obstructing the distal bile duct. The same mass was then imaged from the second portion of the duodenum. At pull-through, the mass appeared more well-defined, with surrounding reactive inflammatory changes that were significant, which was confirmed by AI. With the echoendoscope in the short scope position, final biopsy using a 22 gauge Francine tip needle was performed. Rapid on site evaluation revealed excellent cellularity and the patient was diagnosed with adenocarcinoma. Here are the take home points from these two cases. Pancreatic incident masses, particularly when small, should preferentially be sampled from the second portion of the duodenum. While this can sometimes be technically difficult, the maneuver guarantees excellent cellularity and minimizes possibility of indeterminate diagnosis. This obviates the need for possible second procedure and additional costs. The above message is particularly relevant for centers that do not have access to rapid on-site evaluation and rely exclusively on cell block for establishing a diagnosis. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, please attend Florida Live Endoscopy from August 22nd to 24th, 2024 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.